Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Fiona and I'm a full-time artist. And on this channel, I like to take you with me on my artistic journey, whether that means working on projects here in my studio, going out to see full art exhibits, buying art supplies and sharing my haul with you, showing public art projects from start to finish, basically any art related content. So if that sounds like something you're into, please like and subscribe. It helps me out so much and I would really appreciate it. All right, friends, in this video, I'll be sharing another public art project with you. I'm all ready to go. I have to go pick up a rain barrel. So for this project, it's the same people I did the bench project with actually. Uh, they want to bring awareness to flooding in Hackensack, that area in New Jersey, and the environmental impact that's going on. So they have 11 artists and we're all getting a rain barrel and we get to decorate it with a motif that we had sent in. So it was another one that was an open call I applied to and I'm very thankful that I got it. I'll be doing my, uh, you know, signature super bloom on it. So anywho, one of the nice things about this is that I'm not doing it on site anywhere. I'm actually going right now and I will pick up a barrel from them, bring it back to my home, and then I'll get to work on it here. So I'm not sure whether I'll work on it out in my yard or in my space, but I got a bunch of paints here and I'm pretty much ready to go. Uh, I do think I'm going to have to coat the barrel before um, painting it, like prime it with something. I'm not even quite sure. I don't think it's a wood barrel. I think it's a plastic one. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure, but we're gonna go pick up the barrel. I'll bring it back here and we'll take a look at it and I'll bring you along on the journey as I work on it. So let's go. All right, picked up the barrel. You can see it back there. And I'm going to have to make a trip to Home Depot to get a primer for it so that the paint will actually stick to it. So that's what's next. All right, I just stopped by Benjamin Moore and picked up, this is the sealant. The guy thinks the court will be enough. We were trying to do the math with uh, the radius and the height of the bin, but we both couldn't figure it out. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this will be enough though. Um, if any of you guys are math buffs out there, comment below how you would figure out the, I don't know, square footage? Is that even the right term? Gosh, this heat, man, is making my brain go. All right, I'm gonna go home and coat this bin. Here it is, here's the barrel in all its glory. So I guess this is where the water gets filtered. And then there's some pipes that go through here. Wait, yep, that's what it looks like.
Huh. Okay, that is one coat done. And uh, I'm gonna let it dry overnight, but I'll be back to work on this another day. See you then. Good morning, friends. I'm out here looking and seeing how things are. I've never worked with this stuff before, so I'm not sure if I need a second coat or if this is good enough. I mean, I'm going to be using house paint with a primer on it, so it might be okay. Or I don't know. Do I do a second coat? Because if it's really, really white, then I know my colors will pop. Let's see. Let's see what the thing says. All right, so it says for drying 30 minutes and then recoat three to four hours. Top coat with two component paint. So I will be using exterior house paint for it, but it does say recoat. So maybe I should just do a second coat for good measure. I mean, I did buy this and better to coat it twice and know it will be done right. So I'm gonna do that now. Okay, just did my second coat here. I think that's gonna look better for the paint to take. So I'm gonna let that cure and I'll be back another time to start working on it. Good morning, friends. It's a new day. Uh, unfortunately, it is rainy, rainy, rainy outside. So I wanted to work on the rain barrel in my yard because then I wouldn't have to drag it into the studio along with all my house paints. But uh, yeah, it's very rainy and it looks like it's going to be an on and off rainy weekend. So I have my table set up and I think I'm gonna put it on here and then at least I can like sit comfortably and work on it. And you know, I, I moved it into the middle of the room so I can get around all sides which is good too but i have to go drag it up here and you know the rain barrel has been doing what it does it's been collecting rain overnight so i'm gonna have to empty it uh so it's gonna be a little bit of a project to get everything up here but i think it'll be worth it so let's get into it Okay. Thank you, Ooh. Oh, 
it's dirty. And looks like some of the paint stuck off. So, Delta, it's okay. No. Looks like some of the paint scraped off. Delta does not like it. Um, yeah, our guy, Zelda, relax. Look, Zelda, come here, come here. So yeah, the yard guys came yesterday and Looks like I saw them moving it and looks like they made a couple scrapes, but it's all right. I can touch those up. I need to clean and dry this off. So that's what I'll be doing. Oh, why am I out of breath? That was hard to carry up the stairs, Zelda. It's not as heavy as you, but almost. <laughs> all right, time to bring my paints and get into this. Okay, I've managed to get everything up here and all the paints. I had to take a break because that was exhausting. And I took my autoimmune meds last night, the injection, so I usually have a hangover today. But anywho, I wanted to show you, this was what I had submitted as a design. So it's my signature super bloom. And what I'm going to do is draw in the composition now. Okay, so let me show you what I've done here. I just sketched in a rough composition. This my phone is going to, there we go. All right, so let me show you what I've done here. I've sketched in a rough composition of where all the blooms will be going. Um, and everything actually seemed to line up pretty dang close to my original design based on the template. There was only one extra bloom, which I've marked here, so I know that I need to decide colors for because there was just a space there where the digital template didn't line up with, I guess. Um, but everything else is pretty good to scale. So yeah, I have all of this in here and that sort of extra space would have been like here. So it's like where these two are, that didn't quite line up. Like I just put an extra bloom here. So yeah, 
I'm happy with that. And I'm going to go ahead and start to block in this background color. Um, I'm honestly going to use what I have on hand. So I think I have something that might be like slightly darker, but um, I think it's pretty close. It's this color here. So it's slightly, slightly darker, but I don't think anyone will notice or care. And I love to recycle things from previous projects. And then here's for the lid. So the one thing that I did not know, because I'm not familiar with rain barrels, is there's the hole right in the middle. <laughs> and I had kind of designed it to have a big bloom on top. So this is going to have to be reworked. Um, I mean, I think I can do just a big bloom shape around it, um, maybe with the pink and the leaves. And obviously the lines and the dots will still work, but this action in the middle is going to have to go away. But um, that's what I'm thinking for that. So yeah, let's get into blocking it in. It's all that was sat by my foot <laughs> the whole time I was working on it. I feel bad. She really does not like change in the studio and I am constantly bringing and bringing in and moving things and oh, I feel bad. You were just so spoiled though. I do everything for you. Mommy's doing all of this so you can live a luxurious lifestyle. I love you so much. Yes, you just needed some treats. That's all you needed to calm down and some pets. Yeah. My good girl. All right, let's jump into it. Okay, I just finished the coat on the background. Looks pretty good. Um, there's some places where I can see I'll probably need a second coat, but I can do that after some details have gone in because it also needs to finish drying. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna let that dry and then I think I'll do the dots in the background since this and the dots kind of everything goes over that so it's just easier to do that first so i'm gonna work on the lid in the meanwhile Okay, lid and bin are done. 
I'm going to have to leave them to dry before I can do the next layer, which is going to be dots. I think it's going to be cute though. All right, so next are the dots. I kind of go around it, starting from this one. So it starts on the other end of it, but then it would be down here too. So I'm guessing I should start maybe here and go up and around. That's what I'll do. this to dry overnight and tomorrow get into doing the rest. See you then. Good morning. It's the wee hours. Uh, I think it's about six o'clock in the morning. I'm going to uh, just get jumped into this because I've not really been able to sleep so may as well get some work done. Let's do it. All right, so I'm gonna start blocking in this bloom. So I have the green, the red, and the pink. And yeah, I just wanna start getting in the background colors. Oh, I need a navy blue as well, which I do believe I have in here. These are like all of my paints. This looks like it might be the midnight blue, midnight navy. Let's see here, what does it say? Yep, Midnight Navy. So that's for that. And then this one is like a light blue. And then I know that that one's called Love Poem. So here's the light blue. That'll do for that. Or actually, is it this one instead? Pool party. This is good. I don't know. Mm, not quite, actually. It's more like a turquoisey, which I do think I have. I do think I have a light turquoise in here. And I believe the color is called. Poseidon, if I'm remembering. Here it is, Poseidon. That's kind of more in that world, I think. It's a little bit more green than that, but it'll do. Um, and for that dark green, I'm not sure. I'm not sure I have like an olive green color. what we got here. <laughs> I might have to mix that. I think I'm gonna have to mix it. Maybe for now, we'll use, um, maybe for now we'll use 
this green and pump some of the dark forest green into it. It could be a good combo. Okay. Got my paints. Let's do this first section here. blocked in these first three blooms and what I can say is like seeing kind of how like drippy it is it's very different using house paint on this smooth I guess of a surface rather than what I'm used to where it's like an exterior wood brick concrete where there's a bit more grip there's really no grip with this, even though I did prime it twice. It's just, um, it's very runny. This is fine though, because I'm doing sort of like this first layer. And then um, when I start getting into the details, I'm gonna go in and clean everything up. Um, and I'll probably be able to do a lighter layer, um, but it is interesting. It's very, very different to work on this sort of surface rather than an exterior wall that I'm used to. But anywho, I'm gonna let this dry. It's been two hours, so it's eight o'clock now. So I have to go walk Zelda, have some breakfast, and then I will come back. See you in a bit. Okay, back in the studio. Zelda has been walked. I've had breakfast. I'm currently resisting the urge to go to sleep, <laughs> but I'm going to keep working on blocking in these background colors and then I think this is still it's still drying this is still wet um my hope is once I get around that it'll be dry enough that I can start putting another layer on there let's see
mornings it is a new day here and the bin has dry overnight so I should be able to start to get into the details today um, I'm happy with how it looks though I think it's already cute and colorful let me show you so this is how she's looking in the lid I thought I was going to finish the lid yesterday but I ended up taking like a two-hour nap in the middle of the day Sometimes you just gotta listen to what your body needs, but I'm uh, ready and back at it. Got my coffee, so we're gonna jump in. Oh, I need to see what is my next color layer here. So I could start with the big red one, do some yellow dots. May just focus in this area right now, get these blooms done. Let's do it. This is where I'm at and I have to take a break because I have to run over to one of the murals I was working on this week and meet my guy that's sealing them. So I will be back later. See you in a bit. Hi friends, it's a new day. Um, it's about noon, just about. I uh, 
had doctor's appointments this morning so that's what i was up to but now i'm going to do the finishing touches on this and any cleanup that's necessary but coming in today and seeing it i was like wow the colors really and the details are really popping on this so i have to say when i started the project I was like, this paint is not gripping very well, but now with like a second coat, it's, it's much, much better. So let's finish it. Right, friends that is another project done uh, I'm really happy with how it came out actually I think once it's out in the park it'll really pop and uh, there's the lid back here uh, it's still drying but that's it for now I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one till then stay well and stay inspired my friends bye <laughs>